right. Let's see. You should be able to bring in a friend. I would like to play friend. Hello. Hello, Lurkopter. Welcome to Moron Party. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Do we have it in us to watch this intro again? I don't think so. Screw that noise! It's more Mario Party 4. It's terrible. We're just going to have to struggle through. Have 22 stars on our save. 22. That is not a lot. Right, so last time everything was terrible. Hopefully things will be better this time. I doubt it. You're probably right. Well, let us once again enter the party cube. Beep boop. People are already requesting a Mario Smarty round in the chat, and I agree, we really should run one. I'm planning to hopefully just r slam through the remaining game boards. Uh, does this game have a Bowser board? That is an excellent question, I actually don't know. Because I never played it enough back in the day to learn if such was the case. Hmm. I'm sure someone in the stream chat knows. But more importantly, who are we sending into the fray? Well, Frank and Dan's very enthusiastic for Daisy. A man with tastes. Yoshi is full of unpredictable moves, like walking away from the star six times in a row. We've seen evidence of this, and it was terrible. Let's see... How about Wario? Wario hasn't seen much action in 4 yet. And... Peach, you have been nothing but terrible every time in Mario Party 4, so we're not bringing you along. We're bringing in Yoshi instead. And finally, I'm not entirely sure. It's either DK or Waluigi for this one, I think. Ah, uh, it's Waluigi time. <laughs> Was that a noise of dissatisfaction there, Luke? Uh, no, I was just shooing the cat. Ah. Alright, it's time to decide. Which ones do we have left to play? We have Shy Guy's Jungle Jam, Toad's Midway Madness, and Boo's Haunted Bash. I better alter. Midway Madness is the suggestion, so shit, why not? So as a warm-up this time, and to keep the suffering to a minimum, let's try 15 turns. We will be playing with all minigames, naturally, bonuses are on, and as for handicaps... Can we give people negative stars? No, no we can't. What a shame. Right then. Well, make sure to place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, because we are about to get started. Oh wow, 
This does not bode well. <laughs> These poor idiots are going to get lost, aren't they? Like on every board so far? Pretty much. I mean, that's really what gets me about Mario Party 4's board design. It's all just a bunch of squares with some random cross paths. Yeah, I have to say that the board design is really not terribly inspired in Mario Party 4. I guess they were too busy just building the engine and all the assets since they were moving to the GameCube, and then they just realized, oh wait, shit, all our boards are terrible. <laughs> but after this one, we get taunts. So that's something to look forward to. Indeed. Right, the bets are in, so let's decide the player order. Oh wow. Well, Daisy, I'm betting on you, because if you roll a 1 here, that probably means that you're going to do well in the regular game, right? Right? So look, where are you placing your bet this time? Uh, I always bet on Daisy. Always bet on Daisy. It's usually a sound investment. <laughs> Except for when her gambling addiction gets the better of her. Yeah, we've seen her fall from grace more than once. And the first star is on the other side of the board. Okay. It's going to be another one of those one-star games, isn't it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, everything is set up, so time for me to just put the controller down, and we'll hope for the best. So, the this board, I... Only actually seen it once. Hmm? I think. I've only played this board once before in my life. And it really did not leave much of an impression. Uh, most boards in Mario Party 4 tend to do that. I actually once owned this game. It was the only GameCube game I sold. <laughs> I do not blame you. Alright, let's see how quick they get wrecked. Yes, that's right, Waluigi. Run away from the hole. Excellent work as usual. <laughs> and it's over! Well, I suppose we can always appreciate that they're letting the minigames go by quickly. <laughs> Except for when trivia is involved. Oh. <laughs> but why would you even use the minimusher? I, I just don't understand, because, I mean... I mean, the star is really far away. Wouldn't you want to move faster? I think the AI just uses items as soon as it can now. Because they're even dumber with items than they were in 2 and 3. Waluigi is moving to start the running laps. That little first spin is actually sort of a dick in a sense, isn't it? Because depending on character order, that thing always sends you off either to the left or straight up. Which means that if you're second or fourth to reach it, you will always go up. Right, so basically so far the only one who has made any noticeable progress towards the star is Yoshi, and even then he turned in the wrong direction. 
Yeah, that's... This is gonna be exciting. Uh, Here we go. Stop. Holy shit, Wa team, pull yourselves together. Shit. Both sides are equally bad like this, though. It pretty much is anyone's game. Which sides can fuck up the least? <laughs> Alright, Yoshi, show me your moves. Where are you going? Are you going to waste all of your money on an item? Yes. Yes, you will. So you can't afford to stall when you reach it, and you have to run <laughs> all the way around the board one more time, right? Well, he bought a super mushroom. Now he can run up. A mega mushroom. Now he can run back to the finish faster. <laughs> finish my first lap. What about the star? What star? I don't understand. <laughs> He's just confused. He thinks this is Mario Kart. <laughs> oh jeez, he has crushed the cop. Vandalism. And he takes the wrong path as well. But hey, he refilled his Mega Mushroom. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> oh hey, what's this? Wario, you piece of shit. <laughs> and now... <laughs> and now everything has changed. The new star run is ruined. It will be interesting to see how many legit stars we get compared to luck stars. I recall that brilliant game, it wasn't in Mario Party two or three, where we had something like five or six stars from hidden blocks, uh, and one, yeah, one or two stars total from actually buying them. Yeah, I think that was a uh, Mario Party three, because Daisy was in it. Yeah. I fail to see how Waluigi could possibly be regarded as the winner after that showing, but I... It's Super Mega Yoshi time! Let's just run past that star like an idiot, yeah! Not that it actually matters, is he actually can't afford to buy it in the first place, but... And for all those coins, he only rolled an 11. But hey, now he's at the shop, he can buy a new mushroom. Hell yeah! They just don't feel safe unless they have a mushroom handy, you know? They need to fe feel that bulge in their pants. Let me guess, he gets a replacement mushroom. Yep. 
Gotta use at least one item per turn. Or Mario you die, Party. Or you just die, IRL. Mario Party 4. A PSA about mushroom abuse. Oh hey, look at this. Is it time for Daisy to turn things around? Was there oh. any particular reason why they t changed the chance time into reversal of fortune in 4? I don't think so, and I think that after this one they actually change it back to yeah, the old way. Yeah, because, because I believe it's chance time again in uh, Mario Party 5. It also is in Pachinko. Look at this, look at this, she has it set up. She has it set up. Now oh the question boy. is, will she choke? Will she choke? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, coins. Not good enough, Daisy. It was worth a t shot, though. Well, she's got a coin star now. Yeah. She keeps this up. Next time, Mario. Next time. Right, let's count how many pieces of flotsam they smash into this time. <laughs> I think that is almost more interesting. Right, one, two... Three... Doing well so far, guys, come on. Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Man, they're grazing them now. Ten! Nice work. Eleven, twelve! Thirteen. All those, anyway. Hey, look at that. Yoshi did, in fact, not buy an item. <laughs> oh, well, he actually has some restraint. Oh, he's at the star. But, nope. <laughs> oh, no, Yoshi. <sighs> you were so close. He does the right thing for once and the game immediately punishes him. That is not okay. No, Waluigi might swoop in. But he has got a Mega Mushroom, so he is probably just going to run straight over it. <laughs> Makes a man feel big to just ignore a mushroom. <laughs> Five. <laughs> nice rolls there. Oh wow, Daisy, seriously, get out of town. Y just leave. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got ourselves a lucky minigame for double coins. Oh jeez, and it's a free money one. Well, they actually have a chance to make quite a buck. <laughs> Especially the tree you down there, if they can actually pull this off, they will be making so much money, it's not even funny. It tends to be really luck based for the guys downstairs, cause... Yeah, like here, yeah, where Wario respawns straight into a bag of money. Well, they Come also on. never move unless there's an obstacle in the way. 
They will never actively try to get the money. Well, that would be greedy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why are you greedy? I know, right? He's such a philanthropist. Well, judging by how much money he tends to spend between games, I'd actually say so. And he's a job creator? Yep, that's true. He runs his own game development studio. But not a wage payer. Nope. <laughs> Percentage of profits only. <laughs> Every time Yoshi uses his hands to do something, I just find it really creepy. Yeah, he's got these stubby T-Rex arms. And he has these green featureless mitts. Yes. I think there's a bit of frog DNA in Yoshi. Probably. And look at that! Waluigi did in fact not use a mushroom. <laughs> the AI is showing considerable restraint these last few turns. <laughs> and it's Bowser time. Yes! I hope Bowser just steals Waluigi's stall and then goes, nope. Oh, it's just a dumb mini Bowser. Yeah, 20 coins from everyone, jeez. Why would you put a mini Bowser in? Ah. It's not as fun as the actual Bowser event. Not at all. Also, serious talk. If someone had landed on one of those and he just took took 20 coins from you would punch him in the arm. It's time to knock that shit off. I remember a lot of arm punching back when I played this game with my friends. <laughs> if your shoulders weren't blue with bruises by the time you went home, you were not playing. Stop! Especially once we got the, da the down function. Oh jeez. Those, <laughs> Those are good days. That is one thing I am really depressed that the AI makes no use of so we don't actually see it in more importantly. For those of you not familiar with it, when it's currently not your turn to do something, you can press a button and your character will make their character specific taunt, which is basically this half second long noise. And you can just spam that shit. Well, maybe one of the coders in the stream chat will write a ROM act that makes the AI do that. <laughs> Just hey, const guys? constant taunting. <laughs> Non-stop taunts from all AI players. Well, that's how the game is meant to be played. Instead of the NVIDIA logo, logo it's just a Mario Party logo and then the screams of the taunts in the background and the text comes up the way it's meant to be played. Just an endless cacophony of wow. Now that Yoshi's missed the star, he as he goes, yeah, whatever. Oh, but Yoshi, no, why? The star was right there. <laughs> then again, he probably couldn't turn there, could he? So this might actually have worked out in his favor. Uh, let's watch as Waluigi just runs all the way to the star. See you later, suckers! Wow, he is two steps away from the star. The question is, will he be able to win the battle game? I think that as long as he is second, he has a good shot of having enough money. Motherfucking chain chomps! Oh, we're playing Kaizo Mario Party. This is actually a really neat battle mini game, I think. Mm -hmm. I always just one more chain chomps too, because chain chomps are great. 
And there goes Yoshi. Did you know, TM, that in the original uh, Super Mario, if you let a... Wario, what the hell did you do? <laughs> if you let a chain chomp pull on its chain 49 times, it will actually get loose. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, uh, you do. But uh, didn't we play the early Mario games a lot? I'm more of a 64 kid. Yeah, I didn't even have a home console until the freaking PS2. Mm. And then I was a home computer person, I mainly played my childhood games on the Atari ST. That must have been... Hmm. I remember going home to a friend of mine and playing this run and gun game with a silly looking blue guy with an arm gun and thinking, man, this looks really boring. Luckily, games have changed a lot. Now the blue guys take cover behind chest high walls. Yep, and that particular franchise is more or less dead. Let me remind you about Mega Man Legends, assholes. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Capcom. By the way, I read just the other day that apparently Capcom had plans to make a first person Mega Man game in the style of Metroid Prime. That could actually work pretty nicely. Well, they cancelled that too, because fuck Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be there. There's, there, seem to, there seems to be a pattern in how they approach Mega Man. And I said that the last time we saw this minigame, but this is one of those that I feel could easily have been, like, 45 seconds of shit, even 30. Because this drags on way too long. Maybe if they moved a little bit faster or something. That will remove the skill, bro. Major League Gaming. They almost cleared out the pond. They're actually pretty good at this. Well, with that amount of time available... Oh my god, they, it's a draw again, isn't it? You <laughs> fucking assholes. Every time, every time you spend a full freaking minute and then you achieve nothing. No coins, no stars, nothing. I hate you so much. Why should you even have an even amount of fishes in a competitive game? <sighs> Yoshi yells the size, you know what, screw this shit, I'm war piping out of here. I'm gonna be over here instead. The cool guy. The absolute worst position to take. <laughs> nice work. Oh, Yoshi. I actually never got why there's two boxes now on the item spaces. Because it's just random anyways which one you pick. Mm. Sorry Waluigi, you screwed up in the battle games and no star for you. Come on, do it. Win it all. Nope. I, I don't think I have seen anyone ever win this game. <laughs> I have seen it happen once. I'm guessing for that was it must have been two years ago at this point. And it was only the minor prize too. So. Hmm. And then there's the uh, the character lotto. I have. I really don't know why that's in, because it's near impossible to get the right combination. Yeah, the odds of it actually happening seems to be so ridiculously minuscule. That, though, I have never seen happen. Ever. Oh, new game. It's time for 
domination. This one is actually really neat, because for someone like me, I would always win. Because I'm one of those persons who's blessed with a good mashing thumb, which means that I can mash the shit out of a button. Cat is getting the better of you. She she keeps tipping over my my uh what's it called? One of those little uh car garbage cans. Oh. I think she's smelling a little bit of ships that's in there. Hey. <laughs> Bubble Are you hide hiding food from me, Lorcopter. That is not okay. <laughs> give, give me the chips. Give me the chips, Lord Copper. <laughs> that, is how, uh, that is how I imagine your cat, by the way. Just this really fat and impolite cat. She's actually pretty young. She's only nine months old. Oh. But she probably will grow up to be that. <laughs> Every cat will if you let them. We got never had a cat before that liked chipitos that much. You know the cheese thingies? Oh yeah. Oh jeez, here we go. Oh. Thir Thirty coin the battle game. High rolling. And they went with the freaking butterflies. <laughs> Why? You had a choice of the best battle minigame, but you chose the freaking butterflies. The AI is actually neurotic. They cannot handle the stress from the bomb. But come on, Bowser Head Bomb is the best. I mean, it's so good that they actually reprice it between games, and that is really rare for minigames. I, like, I prefer the version where you pump up the the balloon, and it's, you have Bowser in the background just sort of getting off on it. <laughs> that, seriously, his lines there are really creepy, especially in the English version. <laughs> He's just like really <laughs> enjoying himself, slowly stroking his own thigh, drawing small circles on his cheek with his claws, and you're like, why is this so pleasant to you? When you when you have to wait for Mario all the time, you uh, you get in some weird shit, man. I mean, just with the internet. Yeah, I suppose. I like to believe that Bowser just wait. What Daisy won again? <laughs> Holy crap! Coin store guaranteed. But I was about to say that I like to think that Bowser goes on other kin sites and claims that his persona is a plumber. <laughs> I'm actually a human plumber deep inside. <laughs> and I'm dating the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and everyone's so like, oh jeez. Stop being so creepy, man. You're terrible. You still have multiple genitalia, though. <laughs> Naturally. Man. The, something that I ha just have to bring up since we're discussing, uh, you know, other Kim Bowser and all that. I do find it really interesting that according to the game's canon, the shell is removable. Hmm? All the Koopas, the Koopalings, Bowser and his family, so they can all just take the shells off. But oh, we've, yeah. we've never seen what they look like without them. Uh, I think in Mario Par in uh, Mario World you can see shellless Koopa. Yeah, I suppose it would be that. They wear underpants and shirts. <laughs> Oh, 
just, you know, what would Bowser look like without his shell? Is he this really tall and lanky guy? Maybe he's really buff underneath? Well, he's probably super ripped, judging by the size of his arms and chest, but... I mean, in the uh, third Mario and Luigi RPG, he's really strong in that one. Yeah. Just uh, managed to bench lift his own castle in that. That is a pretty impressive one rep max. <laughs> <laughs> bench press, literally thousands of tons. <laughs> well, again, he has a lot of free time waiting for Mario. Yeah, I suppose. Is he just wearing that? That shell is probably like weighs something like six tons or something. Is he just doing push ups in this castle when he has nothing else to do? Yeah, come on, Mario. I'm ready for you this time. Oh, I have the tiger. I have the tiger. He probably can't even take it off anymore. His muscles are just too huge by now. His back has swollen up so much that he just squeezes the whole thing. Oh, Bowser. You're the only person in the entirety of Mario's world with something resembling a work ethic. I mean, he's awfully dedicated to his craft, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, he's constantly thinking up new plans to kidnap the princess. Yeah. Well, Wario, good luck buying that star with five coins. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have laundered more of his uh, company's money into this game. <laughs> I mean, how else do you think he got that star, man? Yeah. Should really just go fully crazy with that and just give them, like, unique hero style abilities and warriors just is grift or something. And every time someone gets 10 or more coins, he gets 10% of their coins. Come on, Daisy. Oh. Daisy needs more coins. More. And she misses the star. Well, shit. <laughs> she got that, she had actually a pretty good chance at winning. She still has a pretty good chance if she gets the mini, sta mini star game as well. Yeah. Well, here we go. It's time to get hungry again. Oh man. Look at all that good stuff. This is such an unfair mini game because it's. Uh, so luck based. I also find it really interesting that apparently they have takeout boxes with no bottom. How do you use those? <laughs> well, maybe there's a little clasp underneath to fasten it to <laughs> the uh, plate. I'm actually more surprised they have these little treadmill thingies. Isn't that something uh, uniquely Japanese? Well, in this case I honestly have no idea, because there's no way you would actually serve hamburgers and stuff like this, would you? Um, I don't think so. I think in Japan they only use it for those little uh, sushi and all those little snack yeah, re revolving sushi, and even then the, it's supposed to go into the kitchen through the wall and then come back out again. And here it's just spinning in place in the middle of the restaurant. Well, maybe the kitchen is underneath that star in the middle. Yeah, it probably has to be, since the food is just appearing from below the floor. Well, there's just five or so totes in trapped underneath that star, illegal immigrants into the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, I suspect so. 
Just this terrible sweatshop down below. And we only have five turns left. Okay, let's see. Lucky ticket. Come on, Yoshi. Oh. Oh my god, look at that. He's up to two already. Oh, are we gonna see it? Nope. Oh. God damn it. I don't even know what you win. This is so I don't know how you win unless you can hold multiple tickets. Such a total fluke. It really is. Oh, please, get the one that changes red space into Bowser. Oh. No, but at least we got fortune spaces. But that's all honestly even better, because the more chance time, the better. <laughs> I really wish you could have these little mutators like all red spaces are Bowser spaces and... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, why is there no PC Mario Party with an active mod community? <laughs> yes, you could play as Hatsune Miku and the, the My Little Pony crew and shit day one, I guarantee it. Probably eventually would have this Toho mod with tons of obscure in jokes. Yeah. And lots of absolutely terrible MS Paint style ones where there is just this text slathered on the original content do not steal. That would be for the furry version. Oh jeez. In any case, it looks like Waluigi is set up to grab another star, while Daisy is just taking it one space at a time. Hmm. Well, those boots are made for walking, and that's just what I'll do. Are you really? Are you hearing wow. that noise? <laughs> oh jeez, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> they all made the jump and then they all hit the rock at the same time. Uh, yeah, I. I don't even care at this point. They should get. They should be a, a reward or achievement for that, because that was just perfectly synchronized. Perfect crash. Ten gamer score. Mm. Oh man. Daisy Again, really ima is. imagine Mario Party on a system with achievements. <laughs> Holy mother of god. It's like, win a match with only hidden blocked stars or something like that. Achievement unlocked. You broke your controller. Ah, it's the lamp. That's just perfectly okay, because now we'll add two stars, and Daisy will land on a reversal of fortune space and steal all of Waluigi's stars. <laughs> the, genius the genie is kind of <laughs> weird in this game. Yeah, I, I, seriously, I hate the genie in Mario Party 4, because he is so disgustingly inflated, and that horrible belly button with a freaking star on it, it's disgusting. I'm terribly sorry if you have a very prominent outy belly button, anyone in the stream chat, but when it's at that point, when it's that size, I do find it just unappetizing somehow. It really gets to me. It's uh, also the first case of jiggle physics in a Mario game. Oh wait, there was that one snowboard game. <laughs> That's. <laughs> and here we go. Oh yes, Bowser! And yes, Elstor, I want to eat the genies. That is why this one in particular is unappetizing. I have a very, very specific fetish where I want to eat genies. It, it's really tough. And Wario, why do you not have enough coins to buy the star?
he has been terribly unlucky in this game, actually. Normally, <coughs> normally Wario tends to pull ahead on coins. Uh, don't waste your money on that. <laughs> what are you even doing? Huh? Did you just... did she just run away from the star again? No, she's actually approaching it, but I bet my ass that she's going to use a warp pipe and end up on the other side of the board rather than <sighs> grab the star. And oh hey, it's time for Idiots Running Around in a Maze. Part 2. <laughs> I think that the only minigame that is worse with AI pathfinding than this one is the one where they're supposed to catch the chicken in that dual minigame. Mm. Oh, that one. Yeah, because that chicken catching game, holy crap. The AI just seems completely unable to fathom how it is supposed to grab that thing. You know, one of my favorite minigames, uh from the first Mario Party. It was the one where one guy's dressed as Bowser and the rest just beat him up. Yeah, beat him with a hammer, yeah. It's, it's pretty just, great. It's just so fun because the guy is just screwed. It's just... Mario Party 1 is actually really unforgiving in a sense because you actually lose coins for losing mini games. Well, Wario, I would like to congratulate you, but I suspect that this is too little too late. Let him have his moment. <laughs> oh, hey. It's chance time! Come on. All of Waluigi's stars are Daisy. You can do it, Yoshi. It's probably going to be the other way around, isn't it? He's going to give more stars to Waluigi or something. Well, Yoshi has been fucking up a lot on this board. Alright, it's Waluigi. Looking good. The question is, who will the gift go to? Actually, why are the other guys here? Like the Goomba and the Holy Shy guy? Holy shit, here we go. Why it is they? all set up. The master plan is in motion. The question is, can he do it? Holy shit, Yoshi, you piece fuck you, of Yoshi. fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why I don't <laughs> like Yoshi. Daisy, no! Really? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is not okay. <laughs> wow, just wow. And another chance time. <laughs> Seriously, Waluigi, you better give that shit back right now. And now he'll give all of the money to Yoshi, and then they'll just shake hands and laugh. Oh my god, he's nicking shit from Waluigi? No, sorry, from Wario? That Why would you... Uh, Creeder is saying, turns out Yoshi is not from the species of dinosaurs, but the species of trolls. Does that make him a Moomin? Because <laughs> he has that nose. I suppose. But in Japan, the Moomins are hippos. Oh. There's a Japanese Moomin cannon? Yeah. Waluigi, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you, you moron, why, why would you... <laughs> the wealth is getting redistributed like crazy. 
Everyone's just tossing these big ass bag of coins back and forth, going hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Maybe they think they're playing Killing Floor. Okay, Wario. Land on the chance base. And then switch this shit up. And now he will ride on the mini <laughs> merry go round. Yay! <laughs> and he's so tiny. <laughs> And oh shit, oh shit! Someone is set up for success! <laughs> this might end up wonderful. And he teleport. Uh, Daisy, are you Daisy just has nothing right now. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> she doesn't even care. She's going where the party is. Follow the money. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Uh. I hope you can't hear all that noise, but my cat is constantly trying to force open my door. <laughs> we can hear the door moving, but it's not worse than that. It, it can open doors. I don't know, it figured that out, but it somehow figured out how to just jump on the handle and open it. For a cat of only nine months to learn that you will be in deep shit when it's two or three, seriously. Hmm. It's very smart. Nice work dodging that crane, Daisy. Wario's actually been doing fairly well in regards to the minigames. So he might be setting himself up for a bonus stone. He has the coin store now. Mm. So thanks to that little <laughs> redistribution of wealth thing. Jeez. Oh, but Yoshi, why? So close, yet so endlessly far away. <laughs> He just can't catch a break. Oh well. Wario unsurprisingly using the genie? Uh. Yahoo indeed, Wario. Yahoo indeed. This opening shot is kind of disturbing from between the G's legs. It seems kind of inappropriate for this game. Congratulations, Wario. Everything's coming up, wow. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting to that star, assholes. Alright, let's see. Now we'll win a hundred coins. Come on, you can do it. Oh. What a shame. <laughs> well, I think that betting on Daisy probably won't pay off. But it would be interesting to see. 
can end up with any last turn shenanigans. Now, she got screwed in this game. You don't say. I... What might make you say that? Was it the part where she got literally everything but her clothes stripped off her? I'm pretty sure they're working on that too. I mean, Waluigi and Wario aren't exactly the most upstanding guys. <laughs> I like that they have this suddenly just super urban neighborhood to play some hoop in. Just barrels, a half broken brick wall, buildings with clear wear and tear. I mean, where is this? It's the Twomp Ghetto. <laughs> Maybe it's in Diamond City, you know, where Wario has his company, and all the <laughs> other humans live. I suppose. That always was such a weird place, cause it has humans and all the animal people. Yeah. And it's, actually, it's actually really advanced as a society compared to the Mushroom Kingdom. I honestly think that the, all the uh, people from the Wario games are a lot more interesting and pleasant than those in the usual Mario fair. Yeah, they do a lot of, do a good job giving them a lot of funny traits and characteristics. I really like the Wario games for that. Yeah. They're all, they all have backstories too, which I think is great. There's a lot of extra material that you can find on the Nintendo websites and in the manuals and shit that just describes everyone and what they're up to and what they do in their daily lives. Just, just completely useless information there solely to let you get to know fictional people in a video game. And <clears throat> I also remember about the WarioWare games, the manuals. They were actually written from the perspective of Wario half-assing the manual and then halfway through just getting one of his friends to ride it. It was actually pretty funny. I they put a lot of they put a lot of wow. thought into the Wario stuff. And the last thing the Daisy ends up doing is be teleported back one space. This shit was rigged one hundred percent. Screw your shit. And more of this to finish on. What is even the point of collecting extra coins on the last turn? Especially when one character is like 100 coins ahead. Well, you still, it still counts as a win if you get the most, so I guess that. I suppose. So, this one would clearly come down to the wow fellows, so who do you think? It will probably be Wario, unless Waluigi has been really lucky with happening spaces. Is that actually still a bonus, the happening star? Ah, uh, that is an excellent question. I'm not entirely sure which one they use in Mario Party for. Yeah, Wario yeah. is a slight bit ahead there, you'd say. Oh my god, and he wins the minigame star as well? Oh, uh, Wario. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He's got this. No, oh, at least Super. Daisy gets one star. Huh. Holy crap. <laughs> Complete and utter fucking domination. 
Jeez. It's the one free star didn't even matter. <laughs> oh man, poor Yoshi didn't get anything. Walla Walla just grabbed everything. True to character. <laughs> You sure are, the are Mario. You sure are. He's the party star, but he's got no friends anymore. Oh jeez, five stars. That's almost twice as many as everyone else combined. <laughs> well then. Right. Well, that was actually a pretty decent round. God damn. That's mm. some twists and turns, and some complete and utter bullshit, but it was the good kind of bullshit at least. The entertaining sort of bullshit. At least they got stars. Yeah, I suppose. Right, <laughs> as usual, there will be a short break while we set up round two, so hang in there, everyone. <laughs>